so basically so far what we have done is we are trying to register into the training.mulesoft.com and um, the course we are cho choosing here is uh, getting started with any point platform so to do this you have to select that course and then click on register and fill in all the details of email id password your name phone number all those details and then once you click on register you will get an activation link to your email and in the email once you click that activate please click here then that will open a new tab and in this tab you can uh, log in again and uh, go to your dashboard and see your name there in that way you can confirm that you have registered in the training.mulesoft.com this is what we have done so far can you log in varun so click login there on the okay. top right same for training yeah you can see your name right there welcome varun reddy okay, okay. so it's, it's not letting to log in i mean it's i think it's logged in oh it's already logged in yeah, yeah it's logged in so so yeah uh, before even getting there uh, here like you know what is mules of right so as jyoti mentioned jyotikiran mentioned it is a esb enterprise service bus yeah okay so what does bus do bus bus transports the passengers from one point to another point like from point a to point b in the same way this esb also transports or um, uh, transports the data from point a to point b or from one system to other system or integrate from one system to other just to give a high level overview but there is a lot of technical details what jyoti is going to cover uh, okay i just wanted to give an high level overview like yeah all you need to do is like uh, integrating this thing. welcome to getting basically moving from one point to another So now uh, you can go to the courses again, courses tab, and then click on that getting started with any point platform. Okay. And register. Okay. Okay. So this is the place where you can um, go to the training by yourself. So here we'll all walk through these entire five, six uh, folders, as you're seeing on the left side, um, there are six sessions, right? Uh, five plus one wrapping up the course. So we'll all go through this together and uh, wherever there are exercises, I'll help you and I'll give you clarity on each session and what, what's going on so there are some videos and some um, slides in between where you can we, we'll all go through or uh, together we'll listen and wherever you have questions you can um, raise your hand and uh, we can go through that at that moment or um, based on the uh, feasibility we'll also we can also go through all of them at the end or as well i mean depends upon the class uh, so this is the one first thing and then we'll also create an account in the anypoint platform so just go to google and then uh, type anypoint platform yeah and you can yeah click on the second link It's not working. Maybe we'll try another. Yeah. Here you have to uh, sign up. With the same credentials? No. Yeah, but try to use the same email ID and password so that you don't forget. At the bottom, there is sign up button, right? You don't yeah. have an account. And don't go in, into this yet, but you can go down 
and click on sign up okay okay I put the same email for company. Yeah. Company, you can just put uh, Cloudflare or something. Okay. Uh, is the spelling correct? So sorry. Flake, F L A K E. User already exist. You, you have never created an account, right? Yeah. Or have you? Uh, one moment. I, I have practiced it uh, with some email, but maybe. You, okay, okay it got, I got it. yes then okay awesome so we'll all we, throughout this course we'll be um, walking around any point platform and also uh, the training uh, course we just registered and also we'll be downloading uh, a studio so if you have experience on java or any uh, other languages you might have used eclipse NetBeans, um, yeah. different IDEs, right? To build the code, write the code and test it. So in the same way here in, at MuleSoft, they have developed a tool based on Eclipse called AnyPoint. Um, where is it? You, if you scroll down, go, go down, scroll down. Yeah, Studio, there, oh. AnyPoint Studio is there, right? You yeah, click on download. I already have any point in my studio job. I mean, in my laptop. Okay. Yeah. So in the will be once it's downloaded, uh, it will be like a. Um, yeah, but uh, in a studio, let's let's download it so that it would be. Okay. Okay. Uh, so it says thirty day trial. Okay. It asking credentials again to for download. So Jyoti, instead of downloading it from here, can't we go there like uh, into the download side directly from any point platform that way it doesn't ask it again? Yeah, you can. Yeah, we can do that too. Let's go directly there. in the Google, we can just search for uh, any point studio download file. Uh, if you are using Mac, you can select Mac or Windows. Yeah, from here it will ask again the same, uh, same, same. Okay. Should I go back or continue? No, no. Just what you do, uh, go, just uh, click the download. Let's see what what's going. Yeah. So again, same way. Right? So go to the any point platform. There. Yeah. yeah. Go to the. There is a question mark, right? There, there. Help. On the top. Beside, beside the flake. Okay. Yeah. So here, go to the training support. support. Yeah, support. There is a support. No support right? Yeah, help center, I think, right? Yeah, help center. Yeah. Okay. There should be downloads here. Go down. Support. Uh, 
go up go up. click login there it's uh where we did like i can the top on the top click login it's not logged in right okay yeah it's not logged it's yeah select cloud okay any pun platform okay mm, grant access to ivor and reddy should show a download option of all versions so can i can show you डाउनलोड Download Studio. Yeah. Or maybe it would come only for the license, uh, not for the. Uh, you download any points, please, sir. But again, it will ask the same username password. Oh my goodness. In the okay. download site, it's saying the mm, yeah same thing. Uh, does it not uh, login? Click login. Does it take again to the same thing? training or mm. platform? It looks like trial version doesn't have this one. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, download it directly from here. Okay. Yeah, sorry, Joe. I mean, just wanted to take this. Out. No, no, it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> I also I was also curious uh, if it works. Yeah, because uh, for the uh, any point platform uh, for the like like uh, the client versions, right? Uh, when I, there is a download section where it provides all the list of the any point versions to download. It looks like this trial version doesn't. Uh, what can i uh, can i ignore the job title or can yeah, try some some type developer some yeah it, you can ignore what required okay it says 10 minutes yeah so while you are doing this we'll also download one more software so for all this uh, web services we develop we have to test them locally right locally or if the service is launching or running somewhere else you just want to consume it so to do that you don't have to write entire java application or mule application to see what that web service does so in that case mm -hmm. we'll have a tool called postman or uh, mm -hmm. you can also use soap ui and uh, advanced rest client these are all different tools developed just to test the web services so for this um, uh, training we will just have the postman downloaded into our machines all of our machines so you can just google postman and download it and also we let's let's try to have two softwares so one is postman and one is advanced rest client advanced rest client is a software uh, which is recommended in the training modules of this mule soft training Uh, should i continue with the download yeah just click on the windows button i 
think it okay it got downloaded and then you can go and download the advanced rest client it says add it to the chrome no, not the chrome one not the extension it should be a software okay. yeah yeah arc should i go install from here um yeah try that okay is okay there you go bmg is there right macos bmg this one yeah You just drag and drop the advanced as client into the applications folder. Yeah, yeah that's it. Hmm. Check in your applications if you can see that advanced as client. Yeah. Awesome. and uh, try try opening up the anypoint studio the software since you already have it on your local let's assume oh. you downloaded and uh, yeah opening it Yeah. Okay. This is any point studio. And uh, what option should I select among these? Um, It says limited exceptions and no consent. No consent. Let's try no consent. Yeah. Okay, great. Yes. So if you go back to your uh, AnyPoint Studio. Okay. At the bottom you see updates available, right? Click on that dialog box. Okay. okay. and you see all these are some of the updates which came in and you have uh, uh, not updated so you can go ahead and yeah just update that those all those
okay while this is happening uh, let's go to our any point platform which we have created an account yes and yeah. on the top you see three lines on the top left yeah yeah stack and then there go to your access management under management center so here uh, click on the runtime manager on the left below below the subscriptions okay. subscription there is one runtime okay. manager yeah. so here you can see when does your account will expire so in the in the feb 6th your account is going to expire right yeah. so yeah and the tire of what what tire of subscription you have in this way you can keep a track of the 30 days yeah. trial period but once you join a project uh, with a client then they'll give you account uh, you can so that that applies so this is just for training purposes so you can create multiple accounts later with different email addresses if you want to practice more right yeah okay and uh, uh, all the downloads are done right yeah everything is done okay even the postman yeah okay and now we'll go back to our uh, training.mulesoft.com yeah. and uh, click on the first folder now introduction the no, introducing the introducing applications course yeah. the first one. yeah introduction to the course is fine so here uh, you can click on the set up your computer okay down below that this is the video below that there is one more oh yeah um <clears throat> so set up your computer for class right so here uh, we just downloaded the training uh, sorry the any point studio advanced risk client and also have a we have created a account in the any point platform so bottom three steps we have done but the first step is download the student file from the mules of training learning management systems so where is this to download that you have to follow these four steps so you have to go to that uh, training dot you are right now here right in the training mm -hmm. training dot mules of dot com so here under the resource tab beso beside the launch right now you are on launch on the top little bit if you go little slide on yeah on the bottom you see you see getting started with any point platform down there you have a launch tab and then the resources tab over here no down down just on top of this um, okay 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 yeah in the resource so here you have to download that first ap start 4.4 student files yes mm -hmm. download so we'll be using these uh, all the files and resources present in that zip file throughout the session okay. yeah, if you see we have jar files snippets resources and solutions solutions we won't be always looking at them but uh, in few cases where we need to validate then we can look at the solutions tab in full solutions folder snippet is something we'll be using more frequently because there are some uh, some exercises where we have to just copy paste so we can copy from snippet and paste into the uh, needed exercise okay, okay. okay. and uh, so we will Throughout this uh, mules of training, uh, we'll create 
end to end we'll create a web service we'll consume it we'll also publish it we will design it so the actual life cycle of an api starts from designing so if you go to google and then type life cycle of an api you will see some Im images click on images yeah click on the first one I think it's not clear on the pixels. Yeah. The pixels are not clear. Yeah. Will this work? Yeah. Yeah. This is little. Uh, try this uh, MuleSoft's image on the just below this on the right. This one. The bot below that. Okay. Yeah. This is perfect. So if you see, uh, the first one is design, and then implementation. And then the management on the left side you see right design implementation yeah. and management design uh, will design this uh, api through raml using raml it's a, a language which we use we'll go through that uh, it's a very powerful tool instead of developing the entire web service and then giving it over or publishing or deploying it over to the server and then waiting to test on it takes lots of efforts it's the old way of writing web services and also it's the old way of development using this design using mulesoft raml approach design center approach we will design using few lines of code and we'll able we'll also be able to test that directly at that place and also we can give that mock service we can mock that service mock that service means just giving some dummy response and accepting some input just to validate if the user is actually looking for those fields right like the first initial step we'll walk through those and uh, once you have design in that design itself as the arrow is showing you have validate feedback stimulate and design so it start with design and then you stimulate that uh, it, it it's a very proactive kind of layout in the design center we'll we'll walk through that so as soon as you you, you start you start typing something it will pop up what you want to type and it makes easy of uh, development the ease of development is very uh, re very proactive there and uh, once you stimulate and uh, write the code then you can give for the feedback to the business and based on the feedback you can validate and then the api spec is ready once the api spec is ready then comes the next phase what is that implementation perfect Good. yeah in the implementation you will have again two phases build and test so this implementation will be done in the anypoint studio like you build you build a java code or you build any um, any code like in a traditional way of building writing code you build you do the same thing here in mulesoft using anypoint studio we build the code this is also mostly ui driven just that you have to uh, configure few things for configuration it's always dynamic so i have a different address yeah you have a different address and to call them and to configure them it's it's always dynamic so you, there are very limited fields that you have to type in but rest is all drag and drop there are flows there are connectors and uh, there are many things that you can just drag and drop and then start building the design which you have done in the design center right and after you build and there is the next phase called test MuleSoft also has a testing methodology and a technology. It's called M Unit Munit MuleSoft Unit Testing. And that's very easy in the with the new Mule Mule 4 version that we are practicing on. 
just with uh, within few hours you can do complete testing for your application i'll also show you how to do that testing in this session in this entire training period after we test we have the api ready right now we have to deploy so all these phases after the build and test falls under the management okay in the management it starts again from secure deploy monitor troubleshoot and manage and it continues secure okay. in the sense once you have the api you are deploying it somewhere and uh, well well you have to secure that api so that it's not accessible across or you want to limit that access and uh, basically you want to secure your whatever the service you are trying to put in or develop and then comes the deployment where you want to deploy there are different deployment methodologies um, and uh, strategies it can be on premise like if i have a server in my home i want to deploy in that then there is a way and if i want to deploy it over the cloud mulesoft has its own cloud hub we can deploy there or if you want to do it uh, hybrid one here on my house and one in the cloud then you can do that too so there are different uh, kinds of deployments that we'll go through and I'll, I'll i'll walk you through through those once you deploy how do you know your application is up and running you have to monitor right yeah yes to monitor we mulesoft itself has internal logging uh, place where you can see the logs it's called uh, uh, any point logging and we'll we, in the any point uh, runtime manager we'll have those logs we can see them or it's also friendly to um, integrate with splunk or any other microsoft dynamics or any other logging tools available in the market it's all friendly that it goes you can integrate them and get the logs to your tools whatever you're using so monitoring is done that way and you can monitor to an extent that which flow which application which place it's slowing down which place you can it's failing you can literally have all the statistics using this monitoring it's to the point it it is a very powerful monitoring system that mulesoft has and then we can troubleshoot if there is an issue so troubleshooting can be done again using monitoring and also if api is overly consumed you have to add some more resources to it in the server if a server is full and if if sometimes the memory is full or uh, sometimes it just need to have a restart it's overloaded so this is all comes under managing so the last phase is management and there there also you, the alerts if something is going wrong something is failing then you can generate alerts as a email te text notifications all this alerting mechanism can also be be placed so so for all these cycles you have seen from the design to the deployment and management if you are this is the mules of the only tool in the market which does all of it only by having a subscription of mulesoft you don't have need to have any other uh, third party or anything if you go go and learn aws then that's only cloud based and if you go and learn google kubernetes it's only um, a, a specific uh, place where you have kubernetes engine running and just having some space configured but you don't have that uh, mechanism uh, where you can you know build or test or do any of the life part of the api life cycle so mulesoft is the only technology that does everything end to end that's why uh, the business is going good and mulesoft is still running great in the market so you are learning a great tool i have learned this um, seven six six seven years ago and it's still going good so you made a right choice in learning mulesoft so make sure you put all of your efforts and interest in learning this tool and this will help you 
uh, in your career and also whatever your uh, plans are right this is a great place to invest time and uh, resources to learn so so far do you do you guys have any questions in the theory part no jo okay and uh, yeah so basically uh, if you go back to the training dot oh. mulesoft.com yeah in the launch tab Bef tomorrow by the by tomorrow's session make sure you complete till um till the designing apis like one and two okay. from from designing we'll do it together hands on but till one and two you make sure you complete them they are they're very easy just few minutes it's just so whenever you click on something on the brackets it shows how many minutes it takes right yeah. five yeah. minutes yeah it's that easy and most of the steps we have already done in yeah. in the above folders so it's just a good uh, walk through for you guys and we'll go through in depth uh tomorrow at the same time okay since you are only two guys, I don't want to jump in and overload with all the data uh, today. And again, I, I it would be nice if more people are there and we'll seriously start the course. Yeah. Any questions so far? No. Richard, do you have anything to add? Yeah, I think you covered more, uh, most of the topics, which is enough for today. It was a great session, uh, Joe. Thank you, Jay. All right. Yeah, we'll, once, once we start slowly getting into the creating APIs and deploying them, and, uh, yeah, we'll have more questions. But uh, as of now, you covered most of the topics, like uh, from like the design, development, and the testing, right? That's good. Yeah. So we yeah. basically guys, said, please focus on Ramel. Joe mentioned right, Ramel. Uh, Ramel is is the important topic, and also for each and every REST API, uh, we are going to create Ramel. So Ramel is nothing but a blueprint of your API. So what what does that API? What does it do? How many methods it has? What is the request and what is the response? It is similar, right? I mean, when you construct a house. You will not just put like all the bricks and construct, right? You will have a blueprint or you have a construction plan. Yeah. So specification. So RAML is nothing but a specification of your API. So, so basically you design your specification and make sure that what the API requests look like and what the response and what are the methods. And uh, in case of any errors, what is the error codes and error responses? So all that information is, goes into the RAML. Okay. It's nothing but a blueprint. Your blueprint of your API. Okay. In in Java, we call them steps and skeletons, right? Same thing. I think uh, this uh, Anil, you worked on UI, right? It's similar, right? Instead of you directly creating your uh, web pages, first you come up with a wireframe. Okay. So it's similar, like uh, it's a blueprint of you. Is Ramel is nothing but first you will uh, design your uh, uh, specification, and if everything looks good, and uh, once you get sign off on that, you will start development. Similar, like in the UI, also you have a wireframes. Uh, you, you here it goes the submit button, and here what this is uh, this is uh, all that you need to enter in the UI. In a similar way, same like specification. It's not a, nothing complex i mean once you spend like one or two uh, one or two days uh, you, you should be able to understand what ram is and what what all it contains okay okay great thank, thank you joe if we are done then i think uh, i'll I can yeah share. i'm i'm good so basically we have set up our system today uh, so that we'll be ready from for tomorrow we'll jump into and makes our hands dirty with the code and yeah we'll start the design phase yeah
yeah okay thank you thanks a lot all right thank you guys bye thank you thank you joe thank you vijay thank you